It's time for the B A Q A. Hey, the B A Q A. What you say? The B A Q A with Man Day, although she's out sick today. The B A Q A with Tiffany. The B A Q A A. <laughs> it is time for Brown Ambition questions and answers. You have some questions, we have some answers. Well, today is just me because Mandy has the nerve to have lost her voice, honey. Um, but I'll be the voice for both of us. So. Um, although we have some answers, I don't have all the answers, right? I'm not your auntie, I'm not your mom, I'm not your financial advisor, your attorney, but I am a smart brown girl when it comes to some money, career, business, etc. So we have a guest today on BAQA with Tay, Shante to be exact. Hey, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> she's a BA listener and she has a really great question. So we invited her to come on. If you want to be invited to come on and you know you do, you know you do. Go ahead on to Brown Ambition Podcast, especially on Instagram. Leave us a voice note, like a message voice note. When you do that, our our um, producer, Imani, will listen. And, you know, she might invite you on. Okay? Just like Shantae. You want to be like Shantae? Mm-hmm. You know you do. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Shantae. How are you? I'm good. And you? <laughs> I'm good. Good. Where, where are you from, Shantae? I am on? from the West Coast. I think I, I put that in the message. I don't know why I had to go so hard for it, but I've been born and raised in California. So Okay. That's okay. Like okay. West Coast. <laughs> okay. So, Shantae, you have a question for me. What is that question? My question is, when it comes to um, emergency savings, should you be putting your emergency savings in a high yield savings account or mm-hmm. should you invest it into ETFs? That's my question. Okay. So, first of all, great question. Um, I'll say this. So, one... Emergency savings Mm -hmm. is a safety net, right? Mm -hmm. Meaning that it is there to protect you in case of loss of income or in case you experience some sort of financial trauma or drama to protect you. The purpose of savings is not to make you money. So I think that like, I want to like, it's almost like, and some people be mad at me when I talk about insurance, right? Mm -hmm. Because you have like whole life, which I'm like, boo. (laughs) <laughs> right? Because the purpose of insurance is not to make you money, it's to protect your assets. So emergency, now, because we're, we confuse emergency savings with just money in general. Yes, we love our money to make money, but emergency savings is literally a safety net. So you don't want to put it in a position not to be there to protect you. Okay. Right? So if you put it in a high yield savings account, like an online only bank or whatever, um, as long as that online only bank is... Um, uh, FDIC insured, meaning that you get your money back up to like two fifty if you, um, if you if the bank should go under, um, then you can be pretty much assured that when you need the safety net, the money will be there. Okay. Now the reason why we like high yield savings is because although the pur- purpose of savings is not to make you money, we don't want to lose so much due to inflation. You know, right now inflation is are super on the high side, but back in the day, inflation was like two or three percent. Emergency savings accounts were yielding like, you know, one or 2%. So you were basically net, net even. It was there ready for you in case of an emergency. I want you to think about this. Like, let's just say you're on a, um, on a, fl- like a flight and the, um, you know, like the, the air, the mask comes down, right? Mm-hmm. So the purpose of like the air mask coming down is not for fashion. <laughs> like, girl, we're not looking, turning looks. <laughs> it's to save you in the, in the case of emergency. Can you imagine? Like, if you were like, but, it would be cute if it was like, you know, giving a look or whatever. It's like, that's not the purpose. That, so like, so that, so the reason that's why, so I like ETFs, but the problem with putting your emergency savings. So let me, um, I always forget what like ETF stands for ETF, right? Mm-hmm. So an ETF, I always forget the name. I just, I, I just call them ETFs all the time, right? Me too. An ETF is an exchange traded fund. So what that is, is basically it's a basket of investments, typically in, it could be stocks, bonds, and some other investments, right? It's a basket that is traded like a stock. A mutual fund, the difference is just it's a basket, but it's not traded back and forth like a stock during the day. Mm-hmm. You can only buy mutual funds after the market is closed. You could buy it like, you know, you, you could purchase a, a mutual fund, but it's not traded back and forth. Mm-hmm. So an ETF is almost like a love child between a stock, which you could buy and sell all day, but it's one singular piece of a company, and a mutual fund, which is a basket of stocks. 
you know? <laughs> so an ETF is like the love child between those two things because it's a, also a basket, but it could also be traded. So, um, and what I, what I do like about ETFs too, is that, um, the more hands-on someone is on the other side to help you manage that money, the more you're going to be charged. So I'll tell you what that means. Meaning that with a mutual fund, there is typically a person that is picking the fund. So mutual funds, the, um, the expense ratio, meaning the cost to invest is higher because there is somebody typically actively choosing the fund. Okay. Right? So you have to pay more money because that person's like, oh, I need to get paid for this thing. <laughs> ET- <laughs> ETFs are typically like electronically generated. And so there is still an expense ratio. There's still, a, there's still a cost, but because it's not this person picking it, the cost is less. And with stocks, um, it's you picking it. It's not a person behind the scenes. So oftentimes there is no expense ratio. There is no, no, no fee for trading a stock except for like, you know, whatever the platform is charging you. Mm-hmm. You see, the further away you get away from human intervention, the less and less money you pay to actually play. Does that make sense? It makes perfect sense. You know, and so I just say all that to say that I do want you to invest, Tay, mm-hmm. but not with your emergency fund because now that you've worn your face mask for fashion, the plane is going down. What you going to breathe with? <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's like, so I, at the very least, what you could do, do you, like, do you have an emergency fund? Like, do you have money set aside now? I sure do. I okay, sure good. Do. So what you might consider, Tay, is say, once I get to three months, anything excessive over three months, I can invest. Okay. okay. O- or you might say, any depending on now, three months is the bare minimum, depending on how quickly you can replace your income if necessary. So like three months for a nurse is more than enough. Three months for a teacher, probably more than enough. Three months for maybe an engineer, mm, they might need six months. Okay. So whatever your bare minimum is that you would need months to replace your income, once you get to that, then anything outside of that, absolutely you ought to invest it. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. It's hard, but that makes sense. Yes. Right? <laughs> so I just want you to I want you to visualize when you're like, oh man, this money's not making money for you. I want you to visualize someone walking down the street with their with their air mask from the airplane, turning a look. Meanwhile, someone's up in the sky like, I need my mask. Who took the mask from the plane? You know, they wanted to stunt and now we need it. Yeah. Like, you know, you don't want to take that money that you need. The purpose of emergency savings is protective. There's some money that's meant to earn. There's some money that's meant to grow and there's some money that's meant to protect. And that's protective money. Okay. Protect your okay. money. Yeah, that's protect. That money's there to protect you in the case of emergency. Okay. At least three months. More more if you feel more comfortable. But I will say it is possible to save too much. I think that's what you're thinking about. Because there might be people who have five years worth of save. I'm just making that up. That's too much. That's too much. You know, yeah. once you get to whatever that threshold is, your three months or six months, anything above that, you're right. That money is being wasted. I think, you know, and I have been there. I'm sorry. Yeah. I just think like I have to switch my mind from, like you said, it's mm-hmm. not meant to make you money. It's meant mm-hmm. to protect you. So I have yes. to switch my mind to that. You know, it's like your warm winter coat versus your cute winter coat. Right. You're like, mm, it's really cold out. Well, you wouldn't know because you're in California or whatever. It's thick. It, um, it, it, it does cold. It does get a little cold, right? But don't you have some things where you're like, this is my big old ignorant coat where it's not about cuteness. It's just because so, it's cold out. And then I have like yes. something else that's like, it don't really keep me warm, but it's really so I can be cute when I go out. Yes. Like I you got know? the jacket so, I would buy versus the jacket my mama bought me. Exactly. <laughs> So I want you to be like, this money is savings. That's my mama bought um, jacket, right? So it's like, all right, this is my responsible, you know, and anything above that, then I can start looking at jackets that I'm purchasing for myself. Okay. So just like, you know, yeah, that's really good. Okay. Good. Well, was so it much. helpful? Yeah, it was. Thank you so much. Like I'm about to change my you're whole welcome. game plan. So thank you. Good. I appreciate good. it. No, you're welcome. I'm about to Come tell my back mama I'll talk want. to you though. Cause she a fan. Oh, oh my God. I cannot <laughs> wait. <laughs> Oh, I'll tell your mom. What's your mom? Yvette. What's her name? Her name's Yvette. Hey, Miss Yvette. Oh, snap, mom. <laughs> right? We shout you out, Miss Yvette. Tay's over here asking a good, smart, and relevant financial question. You did a good job, Miss Yvette. Oh, she'll she <laughs> love to hear that. So thank you so much. I appreciate You're it so much. Hey, 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 BA fam. We're on YouTube. Woohoo. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. And while you're at it, why don't you go over to that little bell icon and just tap that for us. Show the BA fam how much you love us. And that way you'll also get notifications when new videos drop. 
Also, share the channel with a friend. We're always like, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. And thank y'all so much again for all the support.